Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to Dev Chanel's 40th World. And we're going to be talking about holiday sleigh, meaning quad over at Meredith Medicine and the party she threw for. Um, her friends, family, and whatever. And, honey, the piece of resistance was towards the end of the show when they were, girl, Andrea and uh, Toya almost got to fight. Well, Andrea did get a lick in. And Tasha, I'm not Tasha, um, what's her name? Toya got a uh, push in. But it was a trip. It was a trip. And then, I tell you, Dr. Eugene just really needs to sit his ass down, period. Be like the other man. Don't get fuck, uh, focused on what your wife doing. Go and enjoy yourself, honey. He love Toya. He love Toya and her good and her bad. And there's nothing we can do about it. He can go and have a heart attack and all this kind of stuff. You know, putting up with Toya's foolishness and taking up for her all the time. But like he said, he knew what he was marrying. But he didn't know it was going to come bite him sometime. He thought it was going to bite other people. And I was like, why would you want your wife to be always out there fussing with women? That's stupid as hell, Eugene. But anyway, we're going to go on to Dr. Heavenly's platform and get her version. And when we want to say something about what she said, we'll come back on. Okay, but let's listen to um, Dr. Heavenly depicts what she felt happened at Quad's uh, party. No, like, all right, let's get it, baby. What's up, y'all? What's happening? I got all this cream on my face. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Praise the Lord. See, normal. This live. Yeah, I'm live. What's up? Greetings, greetings. Is it 10 o'clock yet? It better be. Is it 10 o'clock? Somebody help me. Is it 10 o'clock? All right. What's going on? I'm going to give y'all a second to get in. It is 10 o'clock. What's going on, babies? Come on in. Thank you, God. What's going on in? Gotta do this one tonight. Okay, God. Hey, Doc, I couldn't wait. Hey, from Toronto, how you doing? Amber May, how you doing? Hey, Dr. Heavenly, I made it to your live. Thank you. Um, Shreveport, Louisiana, in the house. Hey, girl, hey. You looking amazing. Thank you so much. Listen, I've been working out trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of help. I'm tuning in from Jamaica. Listen, so this episode to me was kind of good. You know what I'm saying? Um... What did y'all think? Out of ratings, I actually did watch this show, but I actually watched it a few days ago, so y'all gonna have to help me. Um, what's going on in the episode? Now, from what I can remember, okay, we're gonna talk from the beginning. Now, Anila and her mama. What y'all wanna talk about? Anila and her mama. At a certain point in your life, when you get of age, this is me, and but my culture is a little bit different from Anila's. And when you get a certain age, that's why y'all kids don't get along with their parents because they need their asses out, right? Because they get tired of their mama talking junk, their daddy talking junk. So when you get tired of people talking junk, you need to have your own bills, right? So Anila has moved out, but she's trying to not... Uh, she needs some help with the kids. We're going to give it to her now. And you know we have this conversation all the time, and we've had it. Black people, my mama, five kids, part of the time, no husband, did very fine, was the norm, walked the kids to the bus stop, waited on the bus, the kid got on the bus, walked to another bus stop, got on a martyr bus, went to work, came back and did it. So we're not understanding her culture in the sense that she can't get these two kids together because this is what we do. We have full-time jobs, some of us, you know what I mean? And we can take care of our kids. That's why we're not really relating to um. Nila, but it's just like a rich white woman syndrome. Like, you know, if you're not doing things, if you're not used to doing stuff, it's hard to you. Just for example, just like I did my blog on um, Instagram, 
A lady told me, she said that when I said prayer works and you can pray and do different things. She was like, I've been praying and um, I can't get off of government assistance and this, that, and the other, and it's hard to do. Y'all might not feel me, but at the end of the day, it's a mindset. Same with Anila, it's a mindset. You could take care of them damn kids. It ain't nothing to take care of. Beat their little ass tails, right? Beat their little tails, put them up. They don't know how to ask for them, right? Yep, I agree with Heavenly right there. I'm 68, baby. And my mom would find a shoe. She would find a tree branch, a switch, a belt. Um, but she didn't hit her with no pots and pans. <laughs> but she probably wanted to. And we had her hand to go upside our behind. All right? And I do remember the elementary I went to was Terry Mill Elementary. The principal had permission to whoop us with this wooden paddle. Now, I only saw that paddle maybe two times at my whole elementary school year of growing up from kindergarten up to, to seventh grade. But Anila is like from a well-off family, and she probably had to do just the minimum. Uh, and her family were taught to... Um, have her married into another rich family. So, I don't know. Because I'm thinking her mama is saying that she raised her kids. Did she have any help, I'm thinking? I'm thinking not. But she made her kids pick up after themselves. <coughs> from how she's saying, she don't understand why Anila can't get it together. But, somewhere Anila felt blogging. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes presence of raising her children. I mean, your husband already have a job that can make him trillions, okay? And I know sometimes you just want to be doing something to keep your mind occupied, to feel like you're bringing in money, and you are uh, respected as well in your chosen career. But neither, you make your own schedule. You make your own time when you're blogging or when you're doing, or you're a YouTube influencer influencer or just a youtuber bringing out celebrity news or just whatever your niche may be okay or what you're bringing out on your show for people to watch and comment on so no i will never be able to identify with anila because we weren't broke broke and i ain't gonna say we were well off when, when you know i was raised up but we had you know, it may not have been much as other people. It may have been lesser than other people, but we had. And we, my mom made it do what it, what, what, it do, what it did. But she did not stand for us to not wash our own plates, especially because she had a night job. We had to wash, you know, we didn't, we didn't have to really wash our clothes until we became teenagers, like maybe 14 or 15. But we had to make sure them dishes were clean. We had to make sure the house was clean and then go to school because she was the provider. She was going to work. She didn't have time to do a lot of stuff. And as we got older, we fed ourselves. If we didn't want what she had on the stove, then we could do without. Eat the next day or however it was going to be. But we have a ch we had chores. That chores wasn't written down, but we knew we needed to make sure we did those chores before going to bed that night. So when Anita was talking about, ooh, I have so much going on. Ooh, I have... I have to do this. I can't take it. Then she's going to come get on her older mom. But mom was kind of petty. Because ain't no way in the world I would let some dishes stay on the uh, the bar or the sitting area where they were that morning. And not put up any of that stuff. Now I would have put another dish. might have been fucked up. They might have not got washed. But I'm sure Anita had a dishwasher as well. But Anita come home with her aged mama. Talking about why you didn't do this. Why you didn't do that. I'm like. Anita, out of order, honey. You out of order. Because you ain't working no eight-hour job or no nine-hour job doing blogging. You could have definitely came um, and cleaned up. If you saw it was not how you wanted it to be, you could have came and cleaned up, period, point blank. But, honey, Anita, mama, wasn't here, her or her husband. But let's go back to see what Dr. Heavenly was talking about. Anyway, got an easy fix. Mama need to go home, right? Mama need to go home. 
No, she don't get no five hundred thousand. You know, y'all ask me questions I already know the answer to, and answers that I've already answered in my previous live. Y'all know that lady ain't get no five hundred thousand for no blogs. My blogs got way more followers than she, hers do, and I don't even do no fashion. If I set up a deep fashion, I get more likes than her. I'm just saying, and that's my friend. I'm just speaking the truth. It's an easy fix. Her mom needs to go home. They're not going to get along. At a certain age, a woman and two women can't be the head of the household. This is my house. You can't really be the head of my household. You can't, and that's not going to work for any woman in my house. And when my daughter or anybody gets to the point where they want to talk stuff back to me, they got to go. It's my house. And that's just rules, but I don't get their culture, so don't get on me about that. Okay, moving along. Audra, we're really happy to have Audra. It's a new breath, breath of fresh air. Um... She's from Ghana. She's an African girl. Again, cultures are different. So we're coming from two different places. Like, we used to Toya talking stuff. And I'm going to be easier on Toya, at least for a little while, because I kind of understand her a little bit. Toya wants to be accepted. Toya wants to be that it girl. Toya wants to be the girl that got more than everybody else, but don't. Like, so... She comes off hard, and I don't think y'all see everything. And one thing y'all got to realize that the show don't show everything. So if they show a couple of things, is you getting on my nerves, you get on my nerves, and then I bust out and curse you out, you might have missed some things. I'm not going to say Archer did too much. I think she did just right, but then you're talking to the wrong person. When somebody keep messing with you, as Toya kept messing with the girl, she the new girl, right? Kept messing with her. You got to get off your back. She didn't put any energy or effort into getting that information. It was out there. But the thing about the uh, the information that Audra got about Toya, I've been told y'all that. It ain't not no secret. I mean, I ain't bring no receipts, but I don't be needing no receipts when I tell y'all stuff because y'all know I be right. I done told y'all this four, five seasons ago. Come on now. And that's why the people be mad at me because I speak the truth, but I don't need no receipts. My whole thing is, if you know the girl, a real estate attorney, Bravo brought her to the show. You know you got liens and you've been selling houses. How you thought this was going to go? Come on now, let's comment since we've been in this nine years. We know what this is. We OGs, whatever. The damn girl, you kept messing with her. And I don't understand why you kept messing with her. Because Champion is coming back. I done seen some beautiful Champion outfits, right? I done seen some beautiful Champion outfits. Have you not? Now I'm going to start hailing on that now. Tell you were wrong for how she presented what she was saying about... Wearing the appropriate attire when y'all going out and y'all being seen on TV and y'all been seen in the public, this, that, and the third. But I don't have a picture of that outfit. Uh, the champion outfit was kind of snug. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if it was her favorite color or was it her favorite outfit. But it really wasn't appropriate because she could have thrown on some, like, she came to, um, that dinner that um, Simone and her husband was throwing and wanted input on the marriage book that they were trying to uh, put out for the masses to take a, um, take a, a love for it, buy it, and read it. But mm, she was appropriate. She could have uh, put that outfit together and went to dinner or wherever they were trying to go. But no, that's just like a... Big girl trying to squeeze in a size too small because she says she wear that size, but she really don't. And you seeing all the rolls and stuff from her stomach to her side to her buttocks. I mean, I don't think she would have been able to exercise without having concerns of that suit busting out. Meaning she is going to rip or she's going to be too fit to be tied and she's gonna take that shit off okay because it's just too tight too tight now and that's just the only outfit that i saw which was champion okay so no i don't think that was appropriate but how uh toya put it out there you know she she didn't have to have that tone and she didn't have to reference it that way is what i can say but okay let's finish with dr tevlin I have. Well, anyway, so ain't nothing wrong with champion, is it? Y'all, I mean, and my whole thing is I kind of, I'm trying to understand Toya a little bit better. Because I think that she thinks that if she gets the biggest house or she has the nicest clothes or she can act like she got the most money, which Atlanta is a flodge anyway. Everybody act like they got and don't got. That's why I always do my vlogs and tell people, listen, let's make it cool again. 
You know what I'm saying? Adults wear champions. My boy wears champion. Ain't nothing wrong with champion. But anyway, if you're going to get on somebody over and over again, what did you expect her to do? And y'all got to know that they cut out a lot of stuff. And my whole thing is, I ain't on one side or the other. Let me stay out of it. But I think the girl came locked and loaded, right? She expected Toya to say things to her. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dr. Heavenly. Um, you really started the shit. You put the information out there. Uh, and you specifically told her that the streets of where, t uh, the, um, Toya live have been talking about her. And they've been saying she's been sleeping with a married man. Now, Heavenly, you know you wrong. You wrong. You are messy wrong. Gotta love you still. Love your personality. But the ways you go and drop tea... You know that shit was wrong. Somebody else could have told her or it could have just, you know, uh, never been known to her. But you got her on 10. You wanted to start this shit. You saw the shit, how it was going. And you just were glad you wasn't the one being in the argument. But then you're going to tell daddy, your husband, daddy. I'm so glad I didn't get into that. But daddy. You dropped the bomb. You brought the food to the table. Did you not think that the people weren't going to eat? Did you not think that heaven? But we're going to go to that heaven to her side. Anytime you got a groupie bed and it's <clears throat> the gras, I'm tired of carrying this. You know what I mean? I got problems of my own. You know, Toya said one last thing. They got on the girl nerves and the girl went ham. And I think the girl had the receipts ready. I mean, what y'all talking about? But everyone knew Toya couldn't afford that. Right. So it ain't like she put no business out there that wasn't already out there. So nobody was surprised. No. Um, when Toya walked. But I think that people did not know the definites. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, and y'all watching the show, I'm not watching it like y'all are. I think that Toya's putting out there that she bossing. Because when I see her tweet, she says she's stutting on us. She says she's flipping houses. And I think that certain people are believing in that. Like, y'all believe what y'all want to believe, but the facts are what they are. I mean, and they plain and simple, right? So if you can't afford something, and I'm going to get into the relationships, because I, you know, y'all, I've been saying from the very beginning, I really, 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 really like Eugene, right? I like Eugene. But I have to come from a point of being a wife and the wife of an ER doc that has done what Eugene has done. I'm going to say it ain't all Toya. It can't be. Like, I think that he's the mature one, just like Jackie's the mature one. I think that he's owning up to his part in it, and I think he's saying, you know, I'm sorry for acting a certain way. I think it's both of them. I think that because Eugene, and you, I can kind of understand Eugene's side of it because he's working so hard. She's saying that he's working 12 hours and he's sleeping the other 10. No, it's 12 more hours. It's two more hours, and they always make Toya look slow. When they say child, well, I guess she make herself because she's saying it. She says that the other 10 you sleep at, no, it's 24 hours in a day, Toya. But you got to understand, this man is changing, seeing people die. And I know my husband never brought it home. And I never knew what my husband was going through when he was in the ER. Like seeing babies being in fires and coming in burnt and never bringing that stress home. So me knowing what I know, I would say Toya Make your house a, a, a place where your husband can come and, and relax. Make your house a place that you can come and, and, and be feel peace. Now, Dr. Heavenly have a good point there. She has a good point. But Toya ain't uh, trying to make no refuge home for uh, Eugene to partake of. She wants him to still be out there doing this, that, and the third. And she continually paying the money. And the money is just dwindling out as quick as he can make it and bring it in. I'm like, Toy, if you don't just sit your ass down somewhere and spend your money and let your husband get the rent and the car notes, but you need to be pushing in somewhere too. The man I already told you, he tired and everything, but you just see that, oh no, it's just the job. No, it's the job plus his lifestyle he has with you. Okay? Y'all gonna have some health issues over there. Y'all keep going this way. Because stress, you don't feel it until it's at the last stages when it makes you fall the fuck out. You can either have a heart attack, you can have a stroke, and then you're gonna be looking back on, I wish we didn't do this. Maybe we shouldn't have bought this big ass house. Maybe You know, it's all the maybes. But don't always look at it towards hindsight. Be accountable. 
be accountable for what you're doing now. And you can see he's uh, telling you in such, uh, what do you call it? In mystery words, he's pretty much telling you he can't take what you're putting on him. Even though he'll say, no, it's my job. No, it's not your job, Eugene, because you were born to do what you wanted to do. You chose that career. So you know what to take home and what not to take home. And doctors are no more stressed than the people that's catching this COVID and stuff. I mean, the nurses are stressed. The front desk staff is stressed. It's just it's too much, okay? The totem pole has gotten too weak. And, Eugene, either you're going to tell your wife to slow down with the spending. No, we're not going to buy that house. We're going to buy another house that's less some money. And if you don't like it, you can always get your walking papers, okay? Because I never promised you a, a kingdom, okay? Never promised you a kingdom. I just said I would treat you like a queen, but I didn't say I was giving you a kingdom to run, okay? And we'll go back to what Dr. Heavenly had to say. Get the kids together and put them. The thing about Toya, and everybody says it, and I'm trying to be easy on her, but I'm telling the truth. They say that y'all give Toya a hard time. She's playing the job of a mother, which is a difficult job. The issue with Toya is we all know Toya don't play the job of a mama. She stay at home. The kids wake her up, right? The kids wake her up, okay? When you at Toya's house, her husband answer the door. He cooking the food. He helping the kids with the homework. She don't do anything. That's what I'm trying to tell you in real life. And that's why people say she don't do anything. That's just it. It's like I told you about the money. I don't be lying. And that's the issue. She's not a stay-at-home mother. Somebody said that she's a mom that stays at home. That's the issue. She don't do anything but complain. Even with people's businesses. This is why we told you it's the way she is. Like she will nitpick what you're doing. And she ain't doing anything. But now, I haven't tasted the wine. But I'm telling you, that wine probably is the best wine in the world. It got to be. Because Toya is a nitpicky, picky, picky person. Like, that wine probably so damn good. That's why I want to try it. Because she nitpick everything. She probably tasted 4,500 different blends of wine. Because she's that person that will waste the time and not. And she's very detail-oriented but don't want to work too hard. So she'll put her name behind somebody else's something and then promote it, kind of. Or just that girl that went to law school. There's a different personality when you go to law school. I don't know if y'all get it. Doctors. Like, for example, am I talking too fast? But doctors, for example, a surgeon, like a plastic surgeon, right? You might meet a plastic surgeon and say, they asshole, though. They're not. That's just how they act because they're tired. They're stressed. They're used to people kissing their tail. And, and right or wrong or indifferent, they all like that. Roya, what's going on? Auntie, what's up? Been a minute. Glad to see you now. Gotta ask what make you bring up bring up rumors about Toya sleeping with someone in the neighborhood. Y'all, you know you was messy for that. No, Roya, watch the show. The, the girl that was saying it, think about this, okay? I'm gonna jump back. Because you asked me a question and I was on something else. Jump back. I went to lunch, dinner, with with uh, Anila and a group of girls. Quad was there, I was there, and a group of girls from the show was there, right? Another girl came, Zaina, right? The girl Zaina, I don't like seeing people named that ain't on the show, right? Came to the dinner, it's off camera. Told us all the Toya's business, who she was doing, what she was doing, what she what she had, you know? And my whole thing is, that's why I say you don't need no whole lot of friends, because I don't know what's true and what ain't, and I ain't gonna never say Toya cheating if I ain't seen her cheat, right? The girl came and told all of us this. This wasn't on camera. But when I saw the girl show up, I was like, oh, okay, they filming with this girl because she came in, they mic'd her. And I'm like, Toya need to know what's coming at her. Real talk now. I don't really do Toya like that. But if somebody show up, and even Eugene was like, what? Okay. No, Dr. Heavenly, didn't nobody write the script for you to say you going to put uh, Toya up on game. Okay, because quiet as it's kept, loud as we going to speak it out. Toy, you don't care for you, Dr. Heavenly. She'll get allowances going um, till she gets to see whether it's going to benefit her or not. And if it doesn't benefit her, she's going to be a one-woman show, a one-woman trained show. So, yeah, you put the information out there, and then she just picked up with it. Why is Zayna here? Why is Zayna here? You know what I mean? So, I know Zayna was... 
was trying to get on Housewives, so maybe she trying to, I don't know. But she came in, and I know for a fact that she had said those rumors. So it wasn't so much that I was being messy. It was like, let me get this girl heads up, and I don't really do her. Now, it did probably look messy, whatever, I'm messy, so probably they go with the line. But if you bring a girl to your house, and I'm kind of confused because... We all heard this girl say this about Toya, right? We all heard it. It was at dinner, right? The girl ends up at Quad's house. From what I understand, Quad invited the girl, but the girl shows up with Anila. I ain't know Quad invited her. I saw Anila bring the girl in the house. She came with her mama, her, her daddy, whoever else came in. But the girl Zayna came in, the same girl that had dinner with us. So I already knew what it was when she walked in. I don't know the girl. But I knew she came to dinner with us. Let's see. This is all mean and messy towards this lady. What lady? What lady? Mean and messy, y'all talk about the girl clothes. My whole thing is I'm saying that I don't think the rumors is true. But the girl came to the dinner, and this is the same girl that told us the rumor. Anila is not being messy. Anila said that Quad brought the girl. That I don't know. Anyway, that ain't the finished shit. I'm telling y'all what happened, okay? Y'all can have what y'all want to. The girl came to dinner. I don't even know who bought her to dinner. But she came in telling all the toy business. That's why I was on my blog. Like, where y'all getting all these friends from? Y'all always saying, I don't have friends. And this is why. This girl came without telling this girl business. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. And whether it's true or not, I probably not. That's my thought. I don't think that Troy would... I don't know. I'm going to say I don't know. But anyway, let me look at the questions. Y'all got the toys. Y'all got a lot of stuff coming up through here, and I can't see it. But, I, you know, you could call the miss you. You could call it whatever. Call me a bad attorney. Um now, Dr. Heaven, and you know. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Helen, stand in your shit. Now, stand in your shit. You brought it out. And then you got a nice dance to say, well, I don't know what the truth is. Now, if you were being nice and you was on mm -hmm. Toya Teen, you would have said, no, Toya ain't do no stuff like that. I ain't believe it when I heard it. And I really don't believe it. But you said, uh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But then again, I don't know. I I'm going to stay out of it. No, you got to stay in it because you brought it to the forefront. Now it's on fire and you're trying to watch it. And see how it manifests and grows. But you're going to tell your husband, Ooh, I'm glad I ain't, I, it wasn't me this time, Dad. It wasn't me. I'm like, what? I'm going to show you a good one. Claudette, everybody's coming from a different point of view. Toya has solid fans. So, of course, people are going to be on Toya's side. I see both sides. But my thing is, if you call my clothes ugly, you talk about my house and say it's in the hood, you say certain things about me, and you got to think, Audra and her husband are 32 years old. They just got out of school. They're not established. They just bought a new home. They just got married. They have a little boy now. You know what I'm saying? And they just starting out. We're way ahead. So she's 32. Toya's 46. I'm 51. So, of course, we're ahead of them. So, of course, she's budgeting. So, of course, she's making, trying to make good decisions and live within her means. So when she sees somebody who's not, that's joning on her over and over and over again, everybody respond differently. Y'all say I'm hard, but shit, I think I come to exactly how I need to be. If you come for my man, I'm coming for your dog. So talk to me and talk to somebody else. Somebody going to agree with me and somebody ain't. And that's the great thing about reality TV because you got all different types of person. Now, Dr. Heavenly, are you going for somebody's dog because they, that's the person they... Uh, the one you're trying to offend loves the most. Because normally, if somebody goes for your husband, you should go for their husband. Unless he's just spotless. You know, he's just like very um, kind and warm to people. He just has that little uh, sincerity type uh, present about himself. But like, girl, you're going to come for somebody's dog. <laughs> That's why I love Dr. Heaven. She just gives me the chuckles here and there. Here and there. Okay, let's go back. That would never agree on anything and y'all get online and, and argue about it, okay? So argue about it. Whatever. Okay, I'll just shut it down. And that's what I think I do. But before you come up with some rumors on me, you're going to think about it three times because I'm coming hard, right? Maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's right. It's great TV. It's great entertainment. But if you're going to get on TV and lie on me, I'm going to tell the truth about you. That's what I'm going to do. That's me. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. But that's what Quad, I mean, uh, Toya, uh, Audra did. So I'm coming for your dog. Your dog. And, that, and you know how I love my dog. I'm coming for your dog. Stay off man. 
Man, it's very important to me. Stay off man. And my whole thing is they send in a lot of money on um, wedding and not budgeting. Okay? That's some BS because her daddy paid for the wedding, so I don't know what you're talking about with that. But you know how I play out on TV? I don't know. Shut it down. Shut it down. Before you come at me, you're going to shut it down. Just like when all the other girl was talking about my man, I had to shut it down. Bitch, you do not make what she he make. Let's shut this down. You looking for a job. That's why they mad at the YouTube right now. Because I'm responding to what you said on the show. So if you go back three, four, five years, you can find out some stuff I said about everybody because either it was a joke, joke, like quiet, it was a joke, or... You said something to me and I came back and said it's about you on my t YouTube in response to what I saw on TV that I did not see while we were filming. So, I mean, it's, it, it, y'all never going to agree. I do think that Toya kept coming at the girl. Was it wrong for the girl to come in and do that? It, it ain't take no time because I saw the girl pull it up on her phone because that's what she do for a living. You know what I'm saying? So, so I don't know. Um... But she shut it all the way down. And that's what I would have done, but I ain't the bitch to ask. I'm not the one to ask because I think that you need to shut it down. Okay? Hey, Emily, don't you find it funny that the ho those, I can't read, I can't see. Let me, let me put on my glasses. Where my glasses at? Oh, here they go. Wait a minute, Arga, I'm going to get you. Hey, Dr. Emily, um, you don't find, sheesh. You don't find it funny that all those girls talked about you on their, on their, on their live opening the beauty supply store is the same store that now holds and supports their products. Now you trying to start something, you being messy. You done gave me $20 to get that. Listen, you're right. But listen, I've been so blessed. Sims, our Tiger Sims, I've been so blessed. And I will continue to be blessed. Yeah, they talked about my stuff. They did. Ain't nobody worse than anybody. That's why I don't understand why y'all all at the reunion is going to come. They all coming at me. And I'm going to tell you right now, and hopefully they watch it. I ain't never said nobody did drugs. Right or wrong or indifferent, whether it's true or not, we will never know. I ain't never seen nobody do it, so we don't know if it's true. I don't know if no hus nobody husband gay. Y'all done said it, it wasn't me. So when y'all say I go off on people on YouTube, how dare you? I ain't never said any of those things, and I think they're the worst thing. I ain't never said nobody husband was the definition of a big-ass bitch. I, I never said those words. So how can you very well say that Dr. Heavenly said something worse than anybody else? You know what the problem with Dr. Heavenly is? She sit up here and she tell the truth. That's all. That's all. So my whole thing is I get what y'all saying about Audra. Audra did her job. Uh, Dr. Heavenly, you tell your truth and what you feel about the situation and your perspective of hearing all of the information presented to you now it ain't the truth and i have the same argument with my mama she just feel like she knows something to the to the bottom from the top to the bottom and there's nowhere as there's no other way you can look at it but her way and i'm like you know and i've grown to just be like okay 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 that's what i say you know because you know since me getting upset she too old to be arguing with and she damn too old for me to try to change because she ain't gonna change so but if you, you know, deal with somebody that's on, on you know, your same age uh, range or, um, or, um, dang, I lost my train of thought. You're just your, your same age, um, you know, they're, they're your same age. Let's just go with that. And you would think they would have a lot more experience or just about the same experience you have had living life and going and, and doing and being privy of certain things. Just how you move and stuff, you know, how you move around in the world and who you get a chance to uh, interact with. And, you know, you have things that you're trying to do as an adult and you have to go, you have to, you have to go test the water, see what you need to do. You might get burnt food a few times, but then you go back to the drawing board and you start to elevate. You start to elevate and get around other people that are on your elevation level. You see what I'm saying? So, um, Toys is married to somebody rich and... Uh, well, I want to say rich. He's well off because his profession should depict him being, you know, coming from or, or making that money. And she wants to do what she want to do. She wants to spend her money, however. But my whole thing is, how was Toya raised? Was she raised by some millionaire parents or whatnot, or she just hoodwinks and and um, bamboozled Eugene and got him to love on her, and she was gonna hold on to that man, okay? Then, of course, having children, that's going to forever link them together until one of them dies. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, mm, okay, I see where you're going with it, Dr. Heavenly. But, no, you put the conversation out there. You felt that you were trying to give 
uh, toy a one up on the situation, but in actuality, you just open a can of worms and they were just crawling out everywhere. Uh, I think she did it very well and calculated, but I don't think they showed everything that Toya said about her. And maybe I'm biased, but to me, if you keep coming at me, it's going to get on my damn nerves and I'm coming hard too because I'm impatient with people that ain't doing nothing. It's always the people that don't have anything going on that got the most to say about somebody who does. You cannot talk about my career or my license or anything when you don't have one. That's my piece. Y'all go with what y'all want to with it, but you can't talk about me and man and don't expect me to go two, 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 two steps deeper into yours. And your stuff is right out there on surface. Everybody know it. So don't lie about what you've done if you don't want to. Anyway, praise the God. Praise God. Yeah, she said send me links. And I saw the paper. Like, it's real paperwork. Like, I knew, but I ain't never looked it up. But, you know, it wasn't nothing but her on the phone. That's what she do for a living. It wasn't nothing for her to do that. So she did it. Anyway, I think they're going to come for you. Oh, yeah, they're coming for me. Yeah, come on, boobies. All of you. Come on. We're going to have a good time with it. Let's talk about it. But I'm just going to be myself. And y'all know this entertaining, in my opinion. My, You don't ever have to agree with what I'm saying. This is my channel, my thoughts. This is what I think. What happened next week? I don't talk about next week, baby. Shan B, you know I'm your friend, but I ain't going to tell you what happened next week. We're going to look at it. So was Toya really cheating? I don't, I don't know. The people say she was. The people say she was. I don't know. But then, you know... The, the messed up thing about reality TV is they make up reasons why it makes sense. Okay, first you say this thing wasn't getting no bigger. Then you disrespect him year after year after year. Then you say you're not happy. Did they show that? Toya said that she's not happy in her marriage. And I get it because the man probably is me. Y'all don't know what's going on behind people closed doors. You don't. Toy, um, Eugene puts up great front. That's why I'm always on his team. But for Toya to be so upset, look at her. I know Toya. She upset for real. The man is doing or saying something, something that's making upset. Now, she probably deserve it. She probably is spoiled and he probably gets sick of ass. But still, they both playing a part in it. So we cannot be... Totally do Eugene like I've been before. You know what I'm saying? Because I used I kept asking certain people, why does Toya keep saying she make more money than Eugene? Why does she keep saying that? Why does Kemp, they say that he used to throw it in her face when he was making more. So now we understand a little bit more about their dynamics. Like, he's putting his best foot floor because he's smart and he's a doctor on TV. But like I'm telling you, you don't know what's going on behind closed doors. And if you didn't put it, so you trying to say that Eugene is a narcissist? Are you trying to say that? Should we be going with our criminal minds type of uh, plotting out or trying to ascertain what is going on, girl? Dr. Heaven, are you trying to say Eugene is the problem and Toya is a reflection of how he really treats her? That's why she feels she needs to get on in and everybody, girl. Tell us. Tell us what's going on. Is that the tea, Dr. Heaven? Girl. I don't want to talk about it, but I'm saying. It looks like Toya is really unhappy. And it looks like he's saying, and I saw him fighting on Twitter saying he didn't say he was stressed with his wife. He said he was stressed with his job. But if you're stressed with your job and your wife is toy, we know what it is. You ain't got to tell us that. Just like we know what your finances is and we knew you couldn't afford the house. We can read between the lines. We are very smart people. We get it. We get it. And you know, I know, because my husband did the same thing. I'm telling you, he wasn't never really horrible, but I'm telling you that stuff wear on you day after day. And I'm going to tell you this, Eugene work a lot of shifts. It ain't like full time for an ER doc is 12 to 15 shifts. 12 probably if you're a medical director. Word on the street, Eugene was doing 23 shifts a month. 23 and the medical director. So you know that man was tired. He's trying to keep up a lifestyle. They stuff is easily solved too, in my opinion. And I'm a real estate, I'm a real estate investor, but I'm a, a, a relationship coach and expert. This is some easy shit to solve. This is what we got to do. Listen real close. Come here. Come here real close. Make your bills less so you're not stressed. I got ER doc friends that work nine shifts a month and they ain't that stressed. You ain't got to do 23. Do nine. 
The great thing about Dr. Damon is we had good credit. Okay, we had, you know what I mean? He had a wife that's working. We weren't overextended, so he was able to come out of the ER and start something new. It took him three to three years to get his stuff built up. But can they do that? And somebody asked me the other day, and I know I'm wrong for saying it, and y'all gonna be mad that I said it. Somebody said, well, Kate Damon go and partner with Eugene and put him, I like Eugene, I think he's an amazing doctor. But they credit, who go f them? Wait, when it comes to business, come on, I'm not, and Damon not. Come on now, do a partner. Come on now, y'all need to be smarter than that. I ain't never been a fool in my life. If your credit is bad and you ain't pay your taxes, you think that I'm going to go into business with you? I don't think nobody would. That's just me. I'm just a professional businesswoman. That's what I do, okay? I ain't talking bad about them. I'm saying I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for Toya. It's a now, you are talking about them bad about them. you actually saying that you have foreknowledge, Dr. Heavenly, that they cannot afford the living situations that they are in. <laughs> Dr. Heavenly, you find it, girl. You find it. I would love to do an interview with you. Love to do an interview with you. Y'all speak it out, too, and tell them, oh, I want to do an interview with her and wish you do one with me. Okay? The easy fix. I think that Eugene loves his wife with all his soul. I do. I think he loves his wife and he wants to make his wife happy by any means necessary. Working on them shifts ain't gonna make her happy. In fact, buying her everything she wants ain't gonna make her happy. She's still not gonna be happy. You know why? You gotta make yourself happy. Things do not make you happy. Things do not happy. This is what I talk about on my vlog when I'm walking. Honey, Toya want a new man with some new packages downstairs. That's all she want. She ain't going through no crisis, no uh, midlife crisis. She just, the Virginia is just not looking good to her anymore. And that kind of begs to make someone pause to say, well, was she out there cheating? You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time when you're comparing your life to somebody else's life and their freedoms and stuff, I don't even think Toya want to be a mother. She don't want to be a wife. And she definitely don't want to be married. Okay? That's what it's giving me. When I had saw her on TV and she was expressing herself that she was at her therapist. And, you know, she was talking with her about the comings and goings. Toya wants to live a single life again. But then I promise you that grass ain't, that grass ain't going to be greener over there either. It ain't going to be greener. You think just because married people... Don't have issues. Single people have issues. And what you got, well, I don't know because if you're saying all the time that uh, you got money, you made more than Eugene, this, that, and the third, maybe he did that to you. But it's your time to say, am I going to stay with this man? Is this man going to change? Do we, know to go, do we need to go to counseling? You know, is it worth going to counseling? Is it worth me staying? Is he worth my time now? That's what... Toya needs to be asking herself. But go ahead, Dr. Heather. Go ahead. Things do not make you happy. You got to be happy within and be happy with yourself, right? Hell no, I ain't going to no business with no Eugene. You I don't even know why somebody brought that up. That ain't going to never happen. But my whole thing is, that's what they be mad at because I say common sense things that make sense. And they mad that I said it. Auntie, do we know what happened to Eugene being the medical director because he's no longer... He probably got stressed with it. I'm not saying anything bad happened. He probably was working too many shifts, and he decided that he couldn't take on that part, too. But the medical director paid really good. Damon, at one point, was the youngest medical director in his group. And they paid him real good back in then. They was making good money. You know, well, you know, good money is relative. But to me, right out of school, you know, three, dollars $400,000 a year is good money to me. You know what I'm saying? So... My whole thing is he probably just got tired of doing it. I'm not saying he lost his job. I'm saying he probably got tired of doing it. Just like he tired. Of, and not only that, y'all got to look at the stress of COVID. Like, come on now. They saying that all the good nurses were going away to be COVID nurses and they were getting paid big money to be traveling nurses. So not only are you saying we got all these people that are dying from a disease that we don't know what it is. Now my staff is meager because the nurses, the good ones, are leaving and getting better jobs elsewhere. That's stress on stress on stress on stress. And did you know if you're working in the ER and the other ER doc got COVID or something and sick and can't come in, the medical director is supposed to come in, but you cannot leave the ER until you get coverage. Did you know that? So sometimes you work in 24 hours. That's why I was like, Daddy, you got to get out of here. This is taking years off your life. You cannot do this job. 
And them people dying. It ain't like with dentistry, the worst thing that can happen in dentistry, well, you know, I'm saying if you do stuff right, because I go through the medical history, anything wrong with you, I'm getting a clearance, so I'm out of it, right? I'm just a dentist. The worst thing that happened in dentistry is you lose a tooth. I can put it back. I can make you a new tooth, a pretty one. These people is dying. That's a different kind of stress, y'all. Y'all don't understand it. I do. I get it because my man did it, and I know what's going on, and I know he tried not to bring this stuff home. That's why I say I feel for Eugene, but Eugene probably acting a damn fool at that house, and that's probably why Toya and Toya don't get it. She don't understand. She's not capable of understanding what, what's going on past her. She's very selfish. So I'm getting both sides, and I almost feel sorry for Toya. I do. I feel sorry for her because she don't get it, but that man working hard, and he's stressed, and he's probably taking it out in that house so got to be 23 shifts a month 12 hours trying to keep up a lifestyle for you that you don't even appreciate and you're gonna disrespect me i don't care what nobody say he could defend her to, to the inner time on twitter there's no way in hell he's not upset about the things she said this season and seasons previous there's no way in hell he would not be human but anyway enough about them anyway moving on it's my opinion real reality podcast in your opinion who who has the most um, internal improvements? Uh, shit, I can't see, baby. I got to get you. No, uh um, who, who has the most internal improvements over the duration of stole? Who has made the least? I think that we all... I think that's what makes the show better. We all have different things that we're heard about. We all got problems. We all have things going on. Some people are more forthright with it, which I respect, and certain people like me ain't gonna never really tell you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it ain't like I got nothing bad, but, you know, if you look at my upbringing, okay, you know, and, you know, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about my mama because she did the best she knew how to do. But everybody's coming from a different point of view. Like, y'all talk about Marla, I don't even know what's going on with her, but I can imagine people's personalities are based on what they've been through in their lifetime. And a lot of times we're not a good judge of what's wrong or right for other people because we don't know where they're coming from. So to say who has the most internal improvement or needs the most, first, number one, I'm going to say this. Y'all don't really know Jackie. She a classy lady, but y'all don't know her. She's not going to give that to y'all on TV. She not. Great lady, don't get me wrong, amazing doctor, great businesswoman, but you don't know her. To me, you have to give Toya and Eugenia Lalini because they basically, they basically more transparent, more than anybody. That's what you got to give them. They more transparent, so you got to give them a leaf out there because they more transparent than anyone. I think Contessa lies, and her storylines are not real, and they've been proven to me that they're not real, so she make up shit. You know what I'm saying? They say she never did really get, you know what I'm saying, a divorce or it's filed for divorce. There ain't no such a thing as filing for some. They, she mad it heavily overnight about stuff she. So at least Toya and Eugene are transparent. That's what I'm saying. I'm giving them, but I think it's both of them and I'm going to get off of them, okay? Therapy. Uh... Okay, and I'm going to get off Dr. Heavenly because she's going into almost an hour of commentary but that's all i had guys i just wanted to come in and give y'all a little taste of what was going on between audra and uh toy and why they got hands put on each other and i know they pushed she she pumped up at um toy and toy pushed her out the way does that would that cause an assault charge y'all what's what's the cops call after um they were trying to act crazy in Quad's beautiful home. And, hon, I don't know what was wrong with the auntie. Because she was like, uh-uh, y'all can't come up in here and disrespect this lady's house. And da, 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 da. I wanted to say, auntie, go upstairs. Just go upstairs. Because if they break something, Quad already said they're going to replace it. Okay? And if it's not replaceable, she's going to find something else. And if it's higher, it's just higher. They're going to have to pay for it. They got money. So uh, all that extra that uh, auntie was doing for quad it, it wasn't necessary it wasn't necessary i would have just told the film crew take her upstairs take her upstairs i don't want nobody you know trying to say you know this that and the third about her when she's just trying to take up for me and you know this whole beautiful house that you know with, with the lowest help i got a chance to um definitely live in it ain't no man give it to me ain't no man gonna take it from me and you know this is what i'm saying because i to tell you i don't know quad would ever get married again because i think um the first marriage was a lot to process. Whether she has a companion, I could see her with a companion. But I don't think Quad wants to um, 
be told what to do or how to lessen her shine to be with somebody. And, you know, she likes the reality TV and she does it well, very well. And uh, she's a very smart woman, business wise. It's just and just, you know, all the way around. So I got to respect Claude. Yes, I do. I just wish her and Mariah could have like worked things out. But, you know, when you burn a bridge and it's I mean, it's totally burnt down. You ain't going to really worry about it too much. You're just not really going to worry about it. You're just going to go on and, and share and do what you can. And right now, she's a uh, Monty in a sense. She's raising her uh, deceased brother's uh, son, which I don't know where the mama is. Where's the mama at, Quad girl? Is she on something why she can't be partaking of her son and why she didn't get full custody? Tell us, sister. Tell, we need to know, Quad. We need to know. So we don't be speculating over here and making our own stories up, you know, which I would never do. But, uh, yeah, it's a question mark, uh, Claude. And maybe you said it and I just missed it, you know. And then, like I said, she take she has taken her mother in, who probably uh, really is giving the little boy Mason a firm foundation. Uh, Claude is going to be like the provider for the family you know she's gonna go out there and make it do what it do and she's gonna have a loving home for both her mom and her uh nephew and hell she might be taking care of some other people in her family who knows if she got it and she love them go on and give it to them you know what i'm saying it ain't like you're gonna take it with you when you're dead and gone somebody gonna enjoy it when you're gone okay so uh yeah that's all i have for this particular video congratulations on quad's new home love it love it love it that's a self-empowering woman and i'm pretty sure the doctor that she was married to i bet he looking at her like she's stupid and he probably tried to talk back with her she was like uh -uh, no no had you in college did what we had to do when we were married and now uh, -uh i don't see, see nothing for you son and so glad i didn't have a child by you to keep us locked with each other <sighs> but that's all i got i ain't got no more and i'll see y'all on the next video Bye bye